Hello guys, Mr. Dynaman2050 here, welcome to another video, and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you how to record using the new Shadow Play feature that NVIDIA have kindly kind of introduced to the uh, um, GeForce experience. And if I just go down here into the GeForce experience, so well, this takes quite a bit to load up, but this is a genius piece of software which enables you guys to record your games without losing FPS in games and without kind of restricting you in any kind of way to be honest, because the amount of stuff you can do with Shadow Play is unbelievable and how well it works, I'm quite astonished by it. So if you just go to Shadow Play here, um, I just go to the general kind of settings. Now, with Shadow Play, guys, you can you can record, quite frankly, in as as you can see here, look, you, you can record in 1080p. You even have the option to record at 60 FPS, which I do, might as well. And yeah, you, you can have manual mode, shadow, shadow and manual. It's really, really good this because you can record your games whatever you want to. So, so I'm doing 1080p, 60fps with a bit rate of 25 megabits per second. Now what I'm going to be showing you guys today is just how to record your games using the Shadow Play. Now you want to click on this options here and you want to set um, you know, a, a manual record on and off and save. Now I'm not going to be showing you how to use the Shadow thing, but I'm going to show you how, how to manually you know, start and stop a recording. Now as you can see here, you've got a little, a little um, indicator there to show you, actually we're on camera, this is this is a status indicator and you choose which corner to put it on and basically that's going to pop up whenever you're recording and that will show you that you're recording, so it's all good. Now my setting here is, is Alt and also F2. I chose Alt F2 because I know that it's not bind to anything else when I'm playing Battlefield and I know that this is definitely going to work for me. So you want to also set a save location, so my save games are going to go straight to the desktop, I like everything on my desktop as you can see. Um, and yeah, I just think recording to desktop's nice because you know where it is. <laughs> you don't have to go on a wild goose chase trying to find it. So mine's Alt F2, nice and simple. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. Now, as you can see, since I clicked Alt F2, I'm recording. And as you can see, I'm recording, so it's got this up here. Now, if I just click Alt F2 again, you realize that'll disappear. Boom, and it's gone. It's gone from the corner. And this is a little save icon. Now I've got the desktop here, look. And it's just recorded that little bit there. Yep. As you can see, look, if I just go into... I do use Google Chrome to actually uh, watch my videos back. Let me just open this in a more traditional player like VLC Media Player. As you can see here, look, this was my recording. This is my real mouse. So, as, as you can see, records really nice quality 1080p. No frame rate lags, anything. As you can see from the after banner, it uses about about 6% of your GPU to do everything. In terms of CPU, you know, not that much there either. Um, so it's a really good piece of software. Now I'm going to show you how to record in-game. So I'm just going to open good old Origin and show you actually, no, forget Origin, Battlefield 4 down there. Just going to show you how to record on, say, Battlefield, for example. It's the same principle, all on F4, nice and simple. Um, just going to show you some real life kind of performance like I'm gonna open fraps as well fraps already open that's good so so I mean to that just on a battlefield here server browser I join any game I'm not too fussed let's join that go ping of eight genius you have a good internet connection for battlefield to get that so I'm just joining a server here no gunshots alive I have no idea what that means but anyway, no loading up so Loading up Battlefield, got my fraps counter there. But I've got a GTX 770, it's about a £230 card. And yeah, really nice performance in Battlefield. So this is loading up Wave Breaker. And say if I want to record this, as you can see, just look at the top right of the screen. Alt, F2, and as you can see I've got the green icon there at the top right of the screen, which is telling me that it's recording. And it records your system sound. Let me just go back to the dashboard actually, show you where that is. So you're on the dashboard. Um, go to your general sound in, in the um, control panel and it goes from the default. So say, for example, I actually do use a HDPVR2 to record, not um, you know Shadow Play, but just showing you guys how to use Shadow Play, Play because it's a free piece of software for you guys to uh, use if you don't want to go out and buy say, you know, a device like I have, like a HDPVR. I like my HDPVR because it's like a, a, a device that... 100% does not affect my frame rates. It's recording just the, the HDMI pass through and recording onto laptops in place. That's how this video is recorded today, anyway. But I'm showing you how to use Shadow Play. So back into the game, I deploy. As you can see, um, 
as you can see, running around on battlefield, still my 60 FPS, it's still recording. You know what I mean? I, th I think Shadow Play is good, doesn't affect your, uh, you know, in-game performance that much. It, it, it's about 5% from my tests, and the voila, there you are. It, it is genius, it really is genius. As you can see, still recording, Alt F2 out of there. There we are, the little down means it's saving. I'm just going to quit this game now. No need to be in. We'll, we will be playing a little battlefield later. But let's say you shut up, like guys. It does record at. Let's just dashboard it. Wait for that screen to go off. So it does record. Um, back to dashboard, please. It, it does record into the .mp4, and as you can see, look, one minute is 151 megabytes. Um, you know the data rate on this is 17,000 um, kilobits per second, and then the um, resolution 1080 by 1920 so it's a true 1080p recording and yeah 60 fps so say if i open uh, just a program that i do edit in so um, adobe premiere is what i use just gonna call this test shadow play my sloppy uh spelling there so test shadow play just open this and i'm just gonna drag the filing and show you that it's a fully functioning file There's some programs my output a file that you think your your editing program can use, um, but I, you know some so, some programs that do record the sloppy as I don't know what. So as you can see, look and dra can drag that in there. Um, a sound is also included, as you can see. Look when we got into the game, the sound is also included with this recording, and it's genius. It really is. Let, let us turn on the speakers just to demonstrate. So there we are. Look. Record your sound. My microphone's recording actual sound. It's not being passed through, but you know it's genius. Shadow play, guys. Nice and simple. You can actually use if you want the. You can use the feature where it's shadow, and what it'll do is it'll shadow twenty minutes of a gameplay. And if you want that, you click Alt F10 by default. So save shadow recording. So save your. So save you've had a good game, for example, and yeah, you you want to save it. Uh, Alt F10 by default, it, it should go to your desktop or, or wherever you say it to go to, and boom, double click on your folder, and there you are, there's your game. I personally like the manual, because most of my Battlefield 4 games are more than 20 minutes, but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway guys, we'll leave it there, hopefully you know how to work Shadow Play. If you have any problems guys, let me know. To my understanding, it works the best with 700 series GTX cards. In my case, I got a 770, so that's like one of the, uh, the higher end of the 700 series cards. But it works nice, nice indeed, um, you know, it works beautiful, it really does. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in my next video, goodbye.